everyone. My name is Levy. I'm a current graduate in an MA English language teaching program with the University of Southampton. I'm here today to share part of my research from my uh, master dissertations, uh, namely uh, contextualizing and integrating the intercultural uh, collaboration program in my own context. Okay, so in this presentations, I'm I'm going to take you through a, a brief introduction to the research, and then to give you some overview of the theoretical framework I use in my research, and then the setting, the method, and we will arrive at the result and the discussions before I conclude it and share some limitations of this research. Okay, so before we move on, I would like to share with you some key, key concepts in this research that might be familiar for some of you. Um, the first one is intercultural telecollaborations, which is a term coined by Odot in 2016 um, to describe a virtual exchange with intercultural loads between students that comes from a multicultural and multilingual um, context. And on the other hand, the intercultural awareness that I adopt here in this research is um, defined based on Baker in 2015 and 2022 as a conscious understanding of the role culturally based form and the practices and frames of reference can have in intercultural communication and an ability to put all of these kind of conceptions into practice. So even though it's called, it is called as an awareness, but it's not merely a conscious understanding, but also skills. Okay, so I'll give you some brief introductions to this research. Let's start with the objectives. Um, so this program is, um, so this study is applied um, to, to investigate an intercultural collaboration program that I applied in my own classroom. So this program has not only the research objective, but also pedagogical objectives. Uh, the research objectives is to investigate the pedagogical strategies, the, the teacher researcher, which is myself in this case, employed in designing and implementing this program. And, but as a pedagogy, as a part of the teaching practice, it is aimed to promote intercultural awareness among students through an intercultural uh, collaboration program. So the, the research questions that I post here is what are the strategies that the teacher researcher applied and incorporate an intercultural collaboration program into a journal English class for adolescent learners in my context, which is in Indonesia. Now, um, I utilize an action research, not only as a research method, but also as a way as a framework to design and to implement this program into my uh, classroom context. However, I also use a um, task design feature for intercultural collaboration program developed by Hof Tatar and Khan in 2015 as a framework to design the task in the telecollaboration program. So that's what my, my research is basically about. Okay, so now um, let's talk about the theoretical framework that I use particularly to, to design the program. I use the task design feature uh, that describe the features influence the task design for intercultural collaborations. So these are some features that a teacher researcher has to um, consider when develop uh, designing and developing an intercultural uh, telecollaboration program. And they are the topic. First, we start with the topic, whether uh, a general and personal or a specialized topic. In my case, because this program is aimed at developing the, the learners intercultural awareness. So I also put some topic that um, explicitly has intercultural loads and the physical locations, whether the program will be just 
you know, um, applied during the school time or also outside of the class? What kind of the digital platforms that we're going to use? And then I think this is the most important or the heart of this approach, which is the blended learning ensemble that is um, incorporating not only the main task, which is applied during the life exchanges, but also the preparations and the follow-up tasks before and after the life exchange. And then the pedagogical language constellations, whether it's going to be a tandem, which is between a, a learner of a language and also the native, the native or the L1 of a target um, of uh, target language or a lingua franca con constellation which the learners come from a, a multi-diverse uh, cultural and uh, linguistic um, settings and in my case in my case study that would be a, a, a lingua franca constellation and then of course what kind of the communication mode it is going to be written and spoken are also involved in interpersonal uh, presentation. Okay, so I would like to um, in, introduce you with the research setting. The participants are students from Indonesia, my own classroom, and also our partner, the Russian uh, teacher and students. There are eight of each classroom, respectively. They are four, 14 to 16 years old, and they are uh, they, their level of provinces are A2 to B1, according to CELVAR, and they are students of a language um, course in Russia and in Indonesia, respectively. And this intercultural literary collaboration program is a part of their timetable from September to December 2021. And with regard to the educational settings, um, both um, both of the classrooms are foreign language um, course, but in, in Indonesia, specifically um, English, offer an, a general English classes for children to adults. And on the other side, the Russian to foreign language, I mean, the, the language course in Russia over the other languages as well. Now, with regard to the research methods, again, I applied action research and it is defined as a self-reflective, systematic and a critical approach conducted by the classroom members, which is myself as a teacher who has an overlap and a dual role as a researcher, who research, who intentionally research this program. And I utilizes the stages in action research, namely planning, actions, observation, and reflections to not only to research the implementation of the program, but also to design and then implement the program. And the reason the, the, the justifications on, on using action research is actually to contextualize the intercultural collaboration program based on the classroom context. And with in relation to the self-reflective nature of action research, it, I use the reflective journal, the teacher researcher, teacher research reflective journal as the data resource. Okay, so I would like to to take you very briefly on the stages and the activities on the stages. Um, as you can see during the planning stage, I started to design a draft of the telecollaboration program and then find a possible partner school. And then I, I uh, consult and discuss the, the program with my uh, partner teacher. And of course, uh, I prepare also the ethics uh, documents because it is which is very important because we work with minors. And all of these pre preparations are followed up during the excellent research, which also the time where I implement, implemented the program in my classroom. Um, but what I, want to, what I want to highlight here is that even during the planning and the action stage, 
I actually have started to observe and also record my the observations into the reflective journal. So in this sense, um, the observations and the reflection stages is actually overlap um, with the planning and the, the action stages. Even so, during the observations and also the reflection stages, I started to um, conduct an interim analysis on the data collected so far from um, which is the entries that I got uh, from my reflective journal. Okay, and I also uh, take you very thoroughly, I mean, uh, very briefly in the program design, as you can see it here that um, what I want to emphasize here is that uh, I adopt the, the blended learning approach, which emphasizing on the pre, during, and the post task. I particularly emphasize on the post task, which, which is, I feel it's very important to allow the learners to reflect on their, um, their exchange experiences. And also, sorry. And also, as you can see it here, that on, with regard to the topic, I applied the general and personal topic here. I get, get to know you and self expressions, but also some specialized topic here is folktale and st stereotypes in order to explicitly discuss the, the intercultural experience between the learners. Okay, and with regard to the data analysis, I applied the two cycles of coding and categorizing. Um, at the first cycle, I so I applied the bottom up and emergent approach where I collected and then start to categorize things across 74 entries from September to December 2021 from the teacher researcher journal. And then I started to, to categorize them um, across across this um, entries. And then at the second cycle, I started to refine this uh, categorized theme from the first cycle into more specific theme. And um, this refined themes are later con contrasted with an established framework that I use since the beginning, which is the task-based feature in a cultural collaboration based on Hofstad Rancon as a way to really analyze the strategies that the teacher researcher use in order to incorporate the, the collaboration program in her classroom context, in my classroom context. Okay, so now we are arrived at the results and discussions. Um, so this is from the first cycle, as you can see, um, from the 74 entries, there are 19, um, uh, categories, which is quite diverse and random, starting from the task type or number one to the purpose of the program and also the reflections on how the program is integrated into the syllabus. So the teacher, uh, so me as the, the teacher researcher, or basically always um, write whatever come across in my head, whether is um, the observations of the program and how the program runs and, and also the, my, my own reflections and also some ideas um, and insight from the literature that I read and so on. So it's, it's quite random, but everything is still related to the uh, program or organization. So from this uh, emerging categories, I refine them again into this. Uh, so this is the refine uh, categories. As you can see, there are six um, uh, refine teams or the categories here, um, starting from the topic uh, to the future recommendations. And I also put there the the number of the original entries uh, based on those um, themes. Now, 
as we can see it here that researching the program occupied the most entries. So this topic, um, so the teacher sub submitted the most submitted um, topics, I mean, entries are, were about, about this, this um, topic, just about uh, researching the program. And the second one is the program designing and organizations. So we are going to discuss a bit more deeper. Um, so with regards to program designing and organizations, um, speaking of the strategies to teach researcher applied, so incorporate the intercultural collaboration program, um, we learn that according to the teacher reflections, she admitted that the task must meet the pedagogical and research objectives, which is also concluded based on this given, for, for example, from this given um, entries. She mentioned there that it sometimes can be difficult to choose the lessons or activity to promote the cultural awareness, but it has to inspire the entire program. So there is an awareness, there's an, there is a, um, yeah, there's an awareness that the task must really meet the pedagogical and the research objectives. And then the second one is that she, re she reflected that the task must assist students in constructing their understanding and also to allow reflections. As we can see from this kind of entry, um, that the follow-up discussion following each of the life, life session was extremely beneficial to um, to allow the learners to reflect on their intercultural exchange experiences and to lead them into understanding and awareness as desired by this program. And the third one is that the task in this program must be varied to maintain the engagement, but also to achieve, to achieve the pedagogical ob objectives. As we can see from this entries, the teacher researcher starts to consider a different framework to design the, the intercultural telecollaboration program. On the other hand, from the second finding with regards to researching the program, we learn that teacher researcher has an interest and awareness in using the reflective journal as the data resource. As we can see it here, she admitted that she was really interested to use the observations and reflective journal as a data resource. Um, and she also mentions that it is important to maintain the routine in order to anticipate the emergent themes, which is uh, especially when she conducted uh, the, the, the interim an analysis. And also there is, a, there is an understanding of, of the research. Um, for example, as we can see it here, um, she realized that she has to look deeper to the data and not to generalize the findings. So as an academic and also a practitioner, um, there is a um, growing understanding about how the research should be conducted and what's like some of the uh, principles in uh, qualitative research. And um, yeah, there's a also some consideration on which is the, the most suitable research questions to use. And the third one is um, there is an awareness and uh, high considerations on ethic issues and documents. As, it's, as you can see it here, um, she, she wrote that um, this, this uh, document has to be prepared very carefully. And also she finds some help some support uh, besides from the supervisor, but also from, from the other supports uh, pro provided by the university. Okay, now is the conclusions and the limitation of this research. Um, speaking of the limitation, this is a single classroom setting with a limited data resources and also a single perspective of a teacher researcher. In the future, that will be uh, necessary to provide the wider settings and variety the, the data resources and also to provide um, 
multiple perspective, for example, to involve the colleagues of the teacher researcher, or maybe the institution where the teacher researcher works, uh, in order to allow uh, triangulations and ensure the trustworthiness of this um, project, of this research. And these are some of the conclusions with regard to uh, the two findings that we uh, discussed er earlier. Uh, with regard to the data organizations, um, sorry, the program or organizations, um, as we can see number three, it's really important to apply a blended learning approach that combines pre, during, and post virtual exchange sessions. And with regard to researching the program, we can set number seven, um, it's important to utilize, I mean, it's, it's uh, very much uh, justifiable to utilize an action research as a method not only to research this program but also to design and also the way to implement the uh, program into the teacher's classroom context unique classroom context okay and if you would like to know more about um, my research I currently um, um, Con contributed in this edited book chapter called um, a Tele collaboration applications in the foreign language classrooms um, and this will be issued on may um, and pu published on may this year so if you are interested then you can have a look at chapter 12 where i provide the full account of this research yeah that's all from me thank you very much for listening and yeah, thank you.